So guys, just as we saw the the first fruit on the cherry moya on Valentine's Day, today I saw the first fruit on the cassette apple or atemoya. Yippee! Welcome back to the channel. So good news on our. Um, Cussed Apple, the Paxton Prolific, which um, does get prolific, but uh, late, very late. Uh, these ideally should be pollinated by um, whatever means in um, late December, early January. That's preferable in order to have the, um, <coughs> the fruit harvested at the end of winter, early spring. But um, in my case, unfortunately, uh, we don't have that option because nothing happens till the end of February or some years, even the beginning of March. So outside of summer. But anyhow, this is um, the first fruitlet that arrived either today or yesterday, the um, 17th of um, February. And it's right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. There it is there. See it? That little guy. He's numero uno. I hope the first of many. So they're pretty hard to see until they get larger because everything is green, right? It's monochrome. And I'm sure there's going to be at least five more by um, the end of next week, the end of um, February, the end of summer. I can even see another one right there in the middle coming, but that's not guaranteed yet. It's still too um, too small. There's around three or four of them like that. See that one? So we have to wait another week to confirm that one. And there's another one there. See that? But again, we have to wait another three or four days to confirm that too. So there it is. The first one. It's a lot better here with sunshine. It's a beautiful day today. 25 Celsius. Sunny. Very, very nice. So, for viewers that are new to the channel, this is um, uh, oh gosh, seven, yeah, seven year old Paxton Prolific Custard Apple or Atemoya. And I've had it in the ground now for about um, coming up to four years and uh, three or so years before that in the pot and um, again I made a boo-boo of butchering it in the middle a couple of years ago don't touch these these um, these guys when they're young wait till they get big like um, like that see that that's the size of the tree before you start hacking away that's a uh, white sapote now this is prime for hacking but uh, I did it on this guy a couple of years ago when he was uh, he had a center branch which was really nice and I removed it I snipped it off and now it's expanded sideways which is not ideal because of the limited space we have here it's touching all the trees so what you want is a center leader not a not a um, a circle so in any case um, yeah, it's the only um, um, custard apple that I have in the ground here. And recently I put in a new one, about a month ago, in the backyard. Let's go and take a look at that one. So as I was saying, the weather today is absolutely perfect. It's beach weather again. I think we've been to the beach like 60, 60 times this summer since... Um, December 
so we spend a lot of time at the beach guys and then when we return home to this it's like wow are we in Melbourne doesn't look like Melbourne looks like um, looks like Florida that's what happens that's what you get when you have a tropical fruit garden okay this is the other um, custard apple or atemoya and this is um, just recently put in the ground I've only had the tree for one year in a pot it spent all winter last year winter 2021 in the greenhouse and I thought well I think he's ready to go in the ground unprotected right these are tough and um, here he is and the variety is <clears throat> well we've got two tags it's the African pride And uh, I wish I had found this guy a lot sooner. I never saw these available. Well, very rarely. Let's put it that way. I don't know if that's focused, but yeah, African pride. And uh, it had a couple of flowers a few weeks ago, but they dropped off. It's way too soon for flowering anyway. And we hope he'll do well here in... Uh, Melbourne so that's the other custard apple anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video the good news of our first uh, fruitlet and many more to come I'm gonna do updates in the weeks ahead when the fruit is grown larger and I'll do the same with the cherry moya which you already saw um, I'll do an update on that as well in March. All right, guys. Have a great day. See you again from the next video. Remember to um, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Especially if you're uh, from down here in um, Victoria, South Australia, New South Wales, Tasmania. All right, guys. Bye-bye now.